Hi, my name is Gabrielle Brogel and I'm a Photographic Sciences fourth year at the Rochester Institute of Technology. In this video, I'm going to outline my senior capstone project on multimodal instructional videos for the Photographic Technology course here at RIT. To start, there are three basic types of learning styles, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. My project focuses on the needs of the visual learner. Visual learners find visual aids like these and multimedia most helpful when learning a topic. The complex technical information presented in the course can be difficult to convey and understand. These concepts don't lend themselves well to auditory learning while also disadvantaging visual learners who require more visualization and who make up a disproportionate number of photography students. My project aimed to create supplemental multimodal instructional videos for the photographic technology course for those who are visual learners to aid in studying and preparation for laboratory assignments. I created four videos for the use of Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere. These videos focused on three different topics. The first is the Munzel color system. This video describes how the Munzel color system is a color space that specifies colors based on three categories, hue, value, and chroma. The second video explores the trichromatic theory of color and that there are three receptors in the retina that are responsible for the perception of color. The third video focuses on the color checker passport and how it is used to provide accurate and consistent color. This video also has a second part which goes through the process of creating a custom camera profile. These videos included information that is presented in the course textbook called The Basic Photographic Materials and Processes, the fourth edition. I wanted the videos to be accessible for all students, therefore captions were added to each video. To ensure that the learning outcomes of each video were met, there were a series of questions answered at the end of each video, which you can see to the left and to the right. There was an average of 96% on all of the videos combined, and I can confidently say that the learning outcomes have been met for the videos. This project can be expanded further in the future. While I only covered three different topics, there is a multitude of other topics that these videos can cover, like sensor performance and noise, the opponent process theory, and digital asset management. To end, I would like to thank Nanette Salvaggio for her advisement and generous support. I would also like to thank Christy Sisson for her advisement during this project.